Doubts about vaccines are on the rise worldwide. One major study found that confidence in the importance of vaccines for children dropped in 52 of 55 countries during the pandemic. This shift in public attitudes can leave many feeling disheartened. So what should you say to someone who has doubts? Fortunately, a surge of research on vaccine hesitancy over the past decade is starting to offer some answers. So here are three tips for talking to people who are hesitant about vaccinations. First, don't judge or dismiss them. It can be tempting to assume that people who question vaccines are ignorant, irrational, or have naively swallowed online misinformation. But researchers agree that it's better to actively listen, ask questions, and be curious about what's behind their concerns. People have lots of reasons for vaccine hesitancy, and they can be broadly divided into three categories. Confidence, meaning concerns about the safety and effectiveness of vaccines and the health system delivering them. Complacency, which is when people don't think they need a vaccine because they're not at risk of a disease. And convenience, when accessing vaccines is hard. Understanding the issues is the first step to addressing them. It might sound obvious, but researchers say that it's important in a conversation to share your view. This might include accurate information about studies or a personal experience. Medical workers are well placed to give advice. A systematic review from 2023 found that consistent, clear recommendations from trusted healthcare professionals were strongly associated with increased vaccination during pregnancy. One way of having this type of respectful conversation about vaccine doubts is called motivational interviewing. Several studies suggest this can boost vaccination rates. And even if you're not an expert in the field, you can explain why you personally chose to be vaccinated or you trust in vaccinations. But the goal here should be helping someone to make their own informed decision, not telling them what to do. Transparency and acknowledging uncertainties is key. There will be less data available on a new vaccine than a well-established one like the MMR, but instead of brushing this aside, you could highlight that new vaccines are carefully tested and that systems exist for detecting potential side effects. One review on combating vaccine misinformation suggests that communicating with certainty rather than recognising that there are unknowns could backfire. They found that communicating the weight of evidence and scientific consensus seemed a more promising approach. The key point is that the benefits of taking vaccines are greater than the risks for most people. Vaccine hesitancy is a complex problem and one approach is not going to solve it. So researchers are exploring a variety of ways to tackle the issue, including methods to help people resist misinformation online. In the meantime, we can all talk to people about the evidence behind vaccinations using methods that research supports.